With the CIF funds, we were able to st start the second phase of developing um, empowering employment opportunities for youth. And so we ran a three-year pilot uh, project in which youth had the opportunity to engage in various kind of collective and, and community projects and develop various skills uh, over the course of their mentorship. Um, I think that for us, the, you know, the number of youth applicants each year demonstrates that there's a need for it. I had to take a lot longer to get used to the fact that like these people are not my boss. <laughs> We're there to help each other. We're there to support each other. Um, yeah, and I think it just was much easier as a young person reaching other young people. I love working with kids. And honestly, I, I know that for me it meant a lot to be a part of Suspicious Fish when I was a kid, but I wasn't paying attention to what it meant to my peers at the time. But now being the facilitator and seeing the kids involved and how much they love it, it really shows that it's, it wasn't just me. It's every, everyone that is involved in this is getting something out of it. I could see that the kids are in love with the program. With the CIF funding, we have been able to mount a microgrant program, um, and that basically looks like grants between $1,000 to $1,200 that we give to individuals to make creative or cultural um, events, projects, and programs that relate to Jewish culture in Montreal. Our participants are able to take advantage of the participants that are within the tech skills program. So for things like graphic design, um, logo design, web design, uh, photographers, copywriters, all these kinds of skills that they are able to pick up, we're able to use with our business incubator participants. So for their businesses, they can have these services for free. With the help of the QCGN grant, we were able to consider, well, actually operate this kind of a project, hire the staff and pay the participants for their participation, which was very, a very big uh, um, advantage for us that we had that kind of uh, uh, financing. Growing older, there's all kinds of issues everybody has, uh, being gay, uh, being Anglophone in Quebec uh, can sometimes be a problem. So we, we're there and we're there with a purpose and that's to help, you know, older uh, members of the community live their lives in dignity uh, and we try and do our best. So the Community Innovation Fund grant that we received helped to support, in large part, um, Full Circle, which is our program for QT BIPOC, so queer and trans people of color. So Full Circle, it's mainly around arts-based mentorship, so we'll support QT BIPOC youth, so again, queer and trans, black, indigenous people of color. It's 18 to 25 specifically for that cohort, and they work towards creating like art together. So there's like a lot of really great art in this space as well um, that's mostly created by the folks from Full Circle. I think when I first saw this mural and when I came in here, I had such a nice feeling about it. Not only the colors, but when you look at it, you just see figures. It's not, there's no gender in there. You just interpret whatever you interpret in it. And when we as queer people look at a mural like this, we interpret it as something queer for us. And I think it's just in itself very powerful for all the youth that come in here. One of the big issues is getting that start with French. So there's a lot of struggle of academics with a lot of the families we see in our programs. So rather than just try and take care of the problem while they're in school, we're going to try and get them before they start school. So this, this app is aimed at young children around the ages of two to four years old, prepping them for elementary schools.
So the funding really gave us a foundation. Um, it was able to get us up and running in terms of getting those products uh, produced, uh, helping us to solid solidify our brand, get the website in shape, um, and it's put us in a, in a good situation moving forward. The idea is the vision long term will be that the Gaspesian Way will become a social economy enterprise that will belong to the artists and artisans who, who are using it as a platform. This funding was amazing for us. We were able to hire a bunch of dynamic young people um, and help them build their skills. But at the same time, they were an important part of our labor force. Before we started working with CIF employees and creating positions uh, with the CIF funding, um, we actually were, were lacking in support in the kitchen. And uh, it was very meaningful for me personally because I got to sort of mentor a lot of youth in the neighborhood. and. I, I reached out to different community organizations that beforehand we didn't have any partnerships with uh, in order to find young people that were facing barriers to entry uh, as language minority uh, youth in the neighborhood. Um, it worked out incredibly well.